Hello, my beautiful Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your Mystic Affirmations for Monday, June the 5th. 2023. Many blessings to you all. Remember, this is our collective energy of all sun, moon, and rising signs. That means if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. So with that, thank you for the likes and subscribes. Those help me to send these videos out to everyone. So thank you for helping me to promote my channel so other people can enjoy it as much as you do. And we'll move right on into this positively positiveness, cranking up our relentless optimism using the law of attraction, the law of divine compensation, and our ability to focus our energy forward to create our best possible life now. As we move in the energy of positivity, let's see what else the universe has to say. And we have Archangel Michael and the Two of Wands. So very solid confirmation here of being able to move forward with the energy of this King of Swords. Remember, kings are the energy of grounded something, something grounded and fulfilled. So it means they're in the ability to take action. This is what this is about. When you're in the king's energy, it's fully formed and ready for action. Besides, it's Archangel Michael. So, hey, double win. Then we have, it's also Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini, Major Arcana energy. The swords are that suit. Then we have the two of rods, which are action. And this says, whatever action you take going forward, left, right, or middle, it'll all virtually come out to the same outcome. This means there's no wrong answer and no wrong way to do what you're trying to do. So don't try to pinpoint it down. Just go with what your heart's guiding you to do, what you feel good and right about, what aligns with you, and you'll know it because it'll resonate with you like a vibrational frequency that you just can't ignore. So moving forward in the energy, here we go. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light, divine spirit. Ooh, Ace of Pentacles coming in with this. So the Ace of Pentacles is the energy of abundance. This is a gift from divine, and this is a platform coming in for a new flow of income. Whether it's a brand new one entirely that's coming in to take over the old one or one that's coming in to be an addition to what you already have. And it's the energy of something new. So it is something beginning from fresh grounded energy as you start. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all sun, moon and rising signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So we're going to flip the energy. We have three cards out. They, they volunteered themselves. And the underlier here is the world card. Absolutely fabulous energy, as you can see. It is the flower of life energy. Very solid in the nucleus and the creative abundance that's swirling around in that active energy of forming into something fabulous. Because this energy means you are in the victor's circle. You see that beautiful energy. You're in the top of the energy uh, echelon here. Creativity is happening. Faith. Solid energy. It is a unicorn. There's a unicorn horn there. I believe in unicorns and mermaids and fairies. <laughs> I have faith, and I really mean that. I do believe. <laughs> I have faith that I can manifest the wealth and prosperity that I desire. That means you're believing in your ability to focus and create. When you focus, this is what happens. The universe starts to move and shift and grow and things start to come into existence that didn't exist before. Faith is that power. People try to pull that away from you. They try to take your hope and they try to take your faith and knock you down so you stop trying to grow past them. It's a, it's a weird thing people do to each other, but we do try to hold each other back when we feel a little bit of envy going on or that we feel it's unfair that that person gets something better than us, right? It's an immature energy and you have to grow past that, knowing that when someone else gets something, this is something to know. When someone else gets something that's fabulous, it gives you two things to understand. 
A, if they can have it, so can you. And B, the only thing required is that you believe in it. Because if they got it without any real trying and it showed up, like you didn't see, you know, all, all, it just boom, it can happen the same way for you. Faith is that kind of thing. So stay out of, stay out of the negativity and stay in faith and things will flow. This is the beautiful energy of source. Riches flow into my life in many ways and from many directions. Do you ever hear that being talked about as something you deserve or that you don't deserve or that it's impossible? No. Riches flow. It's like an electrical current. It's a source and a resource. Just be open to it showing up in unexpected ways. Because if you limit your belief on how it can come in. For example, if you believe that the only way you're going to make your money is through your paycheck. And you know that that's a limited amount because you can only work so many hours. Then you're limiting everything. So open yourself up and realize the universe can bring you things from sources known and unknown. They, you don't have to know about it for it to come to you. Let, let that limit off. I used to think that. I'd be, I'd be budgeting, thinking, and then I realized, wait a minute. I can receive abundance from unexpected sources in the near future. So, hey, it's saying it's on its way. We'll take that. And we have our sacred geometry activation, realization. Boy, we've been getting this card a lot. The frequency of realization supports the internal process of becoming aware of our heart-centered truth as well as the external process of becoming our highest expression in this world. And this is what we're working on, is bringing ourselves to that culmination of all things functioning in a way that, A, we're a benefit to ourselves and others, and we're a benefit to energy as a whole. We want to be in the place of positivity because that helps the frequency rise, not just for us, but for the entire existence. It's that critical mass. We want to be in a place where enough of us believe in the positive of creation that we actually start to do it. Courage. And this is what it takes to do that. Dare to be different. To make mistakes. Create. For it is in creation that you exist. In this world of dreams that stem from the eternal heart, you are one with all creation. All is possible. Go forth and be true to yourself, for it is only through being true to you that you can be true to others. Mm. Get yourself centered in your heart. What is it that you want to create, achieve, and receive? Affirmation. <laughs> Here we go. The instruction. Be aware of your language and thoughts. The most powerful statement you can ever make, think, or feel is thank you. Be grateful for all the blessings in your life. As we acknowledge the divine order of life, the universe responds with ever greater blessings. You are a powerful creator. All you say and think resonates through the heart of creation, and creation responds accordingly. This is exactly what we're talking about in the faith energy. And the receptivity energy. Being in that place where things are manifested because you are giving it its energy of belief. Therefore, it must exist. And boom, chakalaka. Princess of Wands, this is the energy of action. She's coming in to tell you how to proceed, what to do, where to be, when to be there. She's all about giving you the instructions on how to make it happen or where to go in order to do it, you have the Five of Cups. Sometimes we get caught up in the past and we start thinking, oh, well, I, I can't do this because I don't have any experience. Or I tried this once before and it didn't go so well. Well, this is a blank slate. Don't take any of the, the tried befores and the I don't think so's with you. Open your mind. See the open creation. It's just like having a canvas. When you're going to create, there's nothing on the page. You've got to start. You've got to start. Make your first mark and then follow through. That is all that has to happen. 
you're getting from the universe the new fresh energy to flow forward and create with it don't let the things of the past stop you this is a new beginning every day is a new beginning and this is the judgment card this is a resurrection energy in, in the typical tarot you see the uh, an angel blowing a horn and then you'll see the essence of things moving up so it's something being raised from the dead something that you thought was off the table okay so it's something coming back to you that before wasn't possible right here where you said oh I tried it before and it didn't work well this is a fresh new beginning and you it will work so this matches perfectly with that energy so I hope you all have a beautiful Monday I send you lots of love light peace happiness joy divine prosperity and abundance to you all namaste my dear friends I'll see you tomorrow.